Investing your money is not about numbers. I'll say that again. Investing your money is not about numbers. It's about what you want out of life. Your investment choices should be a direct path to your dreams. If you're aiming for the long haul, looking to expand your business empire, or eyeing a cozy retirement, your investments need to match those ambitions. Now, imagine you have $1,000 to invest. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Where would you allocate it? In this video, we are going to look at the three top tips you have in mind before making any investment and the different investment strategies that can correspond with different life stages and goals. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for the latest insights on global finance, crypto, and practical real world investment tips. Also, if all this money and crypto stuff has your head kind of spinning, grab my master course. It's on money and crypto. It's 100% free. I dump all my years experience into this course and I'm doing it for free for you for a limited time because I don't want people to get screwed over in these upcoming crypto cycles. So be sure to grab the link down below in the comments. Now, let's dive on in. Number one, start with the end in mind. First things first, start with the end in mind. Asking yourself the right questions at the beginning is crucial to understanding your path. I discovered the importance of this years into my journey when I realized my goals and actions, they were not aligned. From a young age, I dreamed of being wealthy, like super, super wealthy, okay? And at the time, I was very, very, very poor. And even now, I'm not quite where I wanna be. However, I've always had a burning desire to accumulate more wealth than most people do in their lifetimes. Yet for some reason, I thought I was special and I could achieve this by working in a nonprofit of all things, okay? And later, as a regular and employee. Eventually, I realized that while it's great to invest 10% or more of your income, it wasn't going to get me flying private jets anytime soon. Okay, especially when that 10% being invested was coming from a $40,000 salary. All right, We're, I'm keeping it real, y'all. I hadn't started with the end in mind because I hadn't heard anyone say this to me yet. So like most people, I took the path of least resistance, including my career path. I spent about 15 years of my career life out of alignment with my true goals. I don't have major regrets because I've ended up where I am today. And if I had to do it over again, I would be more intentional by keeping these clarifying questions right in front of me, like right in front of me, and using them to shape my goals. So what's your end goal? Have you thought about whether your current actions align with your vision? If not, now, like right now, is the perfect time to start asking yourself these critical questions. Pause the video and write that down. What do I want out of life? And is my current career path taking me on this? And if it's not, right now to you seems like a practical next step. And now, share it with all of us down below in the comments so we can inspire each other because we're not on this journey alone. Number two, what path are you taking? Let's talk about two very different mindsets, the employee versus the entrepreneur. Most of us are familiar with that traditional employee path. That's the route that you exchange financial rewards for safety and certainty. Okay, you depend on others for your survival, even if you're in sales, relying on your company to honor their compensation plan. This path often follows the investment philosophy we've been taught from a young age, if we've been taught at all. And that is to save 10% of your income, invest it in the stock market through a retirement vehicle and stay diversified, automated, keep working, and eventually you'll retire. And hey, if this path excites you, I'm excited for you, genuinely. Enjoy clocking out and tuning out of work when you're home with your friends and family, okay? Because entrepreneurs don't get to do that. There's nothing wrong with this. But what if you want to retire at 40? If all your money is tied up in your retirement vehicles, like a 401k or IRA, you'll face substantial penalties for early withdrawal. So you'd need to explore some different ways to invest and think hard about what kind of job would allow you to save enough to live off your savings for the rest of your life. If your aspirations go beyond becoming a millionaire next door, a wealthy but nondescript individual who lives below the radar, and nothing wrong with that. Just if you desire something different than that, you might be more suited to the entrepreneur path. This path is one of volatility, risk, and concentration of investment, especially at first. Early in my journey as a business owner, I had a revelation. 
I was wrapping up month end reports and everything looked great. Double digit growth for the year, month over month growth, profitability was up. And then a familiar pattern of shame, it set in because I wasn't putting money into a retirement account. However, this time I had a new thought that changed my life forever, literally y'all. And I'm sharing it with you right now. Are you ready? I asked myself, what am I beating myself up over? Not investing in retirement? Not buying shares of a company in the stock market? Then it hit me. If I had $10,000 to invest back when Apple was just starting, would I want Steve Jobs to put that money into the stock market or into growing Apple? The answer was obvious. I'd want him to invest it into growing Apple. In this analogy, I was Steve Jobs and my business was Apple. The best investment was in myself and in my business. I realized that as an entrepreneur, there is no greater investment than in yourself and in your business. This is the exact opposite approach from when I was an employee. As an employee, even personal investments in yourself are often capped by some level of income determined by the marketplace or your company. In that instant, I understood why I had been so frustrated. I was applying employee rules to an entrepreneurship game. The reality is entrepreneurship was my surest bet in generating the kind of wealth I desired. It also gave me the freedom to retire when I had the financial ability to, not when an investment vehicle said I could. And to me, that felt like breaking free from a prison that kept me working longer than I wanted. So which path resonates with you? Are you content with the safety and certainty of the employee path? Or do you crave the risk and reward and nonstop grind and hustle of entrepreneurship? Your answer to this question could shape your entire financial future. So take a moment now, pause this video and really think about this. Number three, learn as you go, baby. Learn as you go. Let's bust the myth together, okay? Repeat after me. Perfection is a total myth. Perfection is a total myth. I believe so many people either don't start investing or play it super safe because they're afraid of failing. But when I look around at the most successful people, I don't see them stuck in this pattern. They're not reckless and they understand that tomorrow they'll always have a better perspective. So what's the catch? We can't time travel. So the best time to make a decision today with the information you have right now, okay? When you replace the fear of failure with a mindset of learning, the sting of making a wrong choice, it goes away. Failure is only failure if we quit or we don't learn from it. So if you learn and apply what you've discovered from things not going as planned, it's not failure. It's education and we pay for education all the time. I've personally lost more money than many people will ever save. I feel the pain of those losses, I really do. And I've learned from each one. I tell myself that a loss I learned from will help me keep 10 times more money in the future. So I'm actually grateful for those painful lessons. Losing money sucks, okay? No doubt about it, don't let me mix words. And it's a part of the journey. Think of our lives and money like a ship. Ships are meant to be in motion, okay? You can't course correct a ship that's docked at port. It has to be moving. That's why taking the best action you know right now is critical. The biggest failure in life is not taking any action at all. So embrace imperfection. Take that step, learn from every experience and keep moving forward. Your future self will thank you. I promise you this. Now, if you've watched to this point, here's a fist bump, dab it, boom, boom, boom. All right, from me to you. And remember to grab the master course down below on money and crypto. It's 100% free and I'm giving it away for a limited time to help you live your life to the fullest and not make the mistakes I did. So grab that course, smash that like, turn on your subscriptions with all the jazz, and I'll see you on one of these videos next as well as in the course. You keep living your life to the fullest, baby. Peace.